the king! And welcome back to another episode of Victoria 2! Heart of Darkness, the Canadian, and let's play. So as you guys know, last episode, I finally decided that it's time to go back to war with um, China. Partly because, um, I definitely, definitely don't want them to win against Gunzai. So what we're gonna go do is be the nice big brothers of the Gunzaiians after we just try to take them over and go destroy a lot of the Chinese forces so that it'll be very easy for them to just go and destroy us. And as you can see, we have like a lot of rebels in like China going on right now, but in a couple days I'll be dead. I mean, my, my troops are very well advanced. And attention in the grand state of- well, oh, you serious? Okay, I don't even care about these guys, and I'll be honest with you, I don't even know what that is. That isn't even an important colony. Anything is, is that is if the, if that's in a like Africa, then I'll be completely mad because I honestly don't care about Africa. Africa was not my goal in this let's play. It wasn't my goal. It wasn't even on the radar being my goal. It was just something. Okay, so let's see. How's our how's our weapon problem going? It's really not that big, and I got think I got this army almost well sorted out. Let's see. Can I build the last couple of men I need to? Yeah, I think so. I think think. I think my people are ready to repopulate again, so I need that. I need two more horsemen. That should complete the army right there because I already have all the artillery. Artillery. Let me see. Uh, yes, I already have the artillery. Not completely, man. I think I'm missing a couple artillery shells, but I miss uh, not shells, actual cannons. But they're almost done, so yeah, that's good. And right now, of course not. Why would you think that? Seriously, you guys are. I don't know, you guys kind of drive me a little bit nuts. And as you can see, yeah, look at my, look at my army. It's just like massacring the entire uprising. It's not even fun. It's, it, I feel like this is not even like remotely like fun. But hmm. you know what I never thought of is that I hope guns I actually take. If they could, I wish they could take all this region because you know then the next war I have with um, China will be a very very quick and painless war for me. Uh, fish, excellent. We always love fish. Because fish is a great commodity to have. And I can't believe that our literacy rate is 90%. Like, even in even with our colonies and everything, we still have a 90% immigration rate. And I'm going to have this. I'm going to have to start getting some of these stuff because we need to, um... Uh, rebel efficiency gain. Yeah, I, I don't know. That seems kind of a backwards kind of thing because you gain, while you suppress them better... You gain more organized fields, which then becomes even more annoying because then you have to deal with even more rebels. Like the organized ones, are the ones I really, I really do, I'm really kind of scared of. If I really had to say anything, because they're the ones that really, really know what they're doing and really know how to like destroy your empire, like literally destroy your empire, which is something you have to always worry about because I mean the beginning rebels are just bleh, but the end rebels, whoo, they can really cause trouble for you. So, um, right now in Canada, as you guys know, we did a good, um, demand cause concession against China, which I'm planning, mission to China, oh, dang it, <laughs> oh, how do I feel like this is going to turn badly, but I, it's good, I feel like this is going to turn badly, that, I feel like that's a negative event that will probably overshadow this, but anyways, what I'm planning on taking this, this war, is let's see if I can, I'm not sure, I didn't quite, no, I can't, dang Okay, well, what I was planning on taking was this little Beijing capital right here. You know, like, it's completely surrounded, but apparently I can't. And apparently China's winning down here, which is not good. Let me make sure about this. Yeah, they're winning. That is not a good sign. So, what I might do is actually go take some land over here. Maybe this little place over here. Because we definitely don't want China to win. We want the Gunzaians to somehow come across and defeat these Chinese. Yeah. I, I don't I don't quite know the word for this or quite appropriate word for this so I'll just say yeah and that is my neutral answer for today so I'm gonna move all my troops to the future Chinese border I forgot to move these guys out too which I also get them into attack mode I'll move them to our future war with China's border so we're all gonna be right next to here and have a couple places finished up and uh, we have a couple places that finished up our uh, industrial mm, I don't quite want to upgrade all of our uh, railroads yet. It's not quite time. And I'm waiting. For, I've been waiting for like a new social event five so that I could like upgrade my uh, healthcare demands. And I only gained 1.5 in for me. Yes, that's even less than my last war. But I'm also gaining a lot because yeah, 
It, it stinks being being this, and it seems like Gunzai has actually turned this around. They seem to be taking over China's um, mega army. That is great. That is always great news to take. So maybe I might just take this territory right here. That way, um, it might be better for the long run because not only would we have a shorter border with China, but we only have to deal with like maybe a couple armies over here. And it seems like Guns Eyes has basically defeated everything down there. Everything. So you know, th th there's lots of possibilities right now. And I have my troops all the way already. I have a couple troops in like backwards in the back just in case to make sure that we control most of our regions. How the rebels doing, by the way? Let's see. Uh, no million. Okay, one million ultra available rebels. Not really anything of great consequence. Kind of scary at some points, but not of great consequence. I'm gonna move you guys that are just been made all the way over. Okay, let me see. I need the 27. I think no. It's 24 then. 24, I need the 24. You guys are moving into a new position. You guys are going to be right here in Kingston. And I never actually finished this army either. Yeah, I created like way more cavalry than was expected. Hmm. I'll have to deal with that later on in a later date. So, we will be working on... Okay, Ambassador Insult. Which one is it? France. I hate France. But that gives me lose infamy. Let's gain him. Let's gain some relationships with France, even though we aren't exactly keen on the French at all, like at all. So now let's go to war with China. China, time for you guys to die. Okay, wait. What do we need in this? We can take Formosa and take the island I've always wanted, which then we could actually set this island free and take it as Taiwan. Which then could give us even less infamy, but then that's kind of pointless because then I just took an island for no real reason. Uh, or we could take this. You know, I actually think I would want to take this. Yeah, I, I will stick to that because this is that region actually seems like I want it. Because it like makes my empire look all weird. And you know, I do not like weird borders. I severely do not. I have I like my empire looking very, very. I guess right is the best way I can put it. So. Let's see. Did I get everyone? Nope. It seems like they're gonna have a couple good holes on me. Don't really have to worry about the lower part actually, because Guns Eye seems to be handling that pretty well. So, um, yeah, just have to kill all the lower people. Yeah, let me make sure that none of these guys are on um, track down rebels. That would stink. Cause then in the middle they could just like go hunt down rebels, which would be really bad. And China's about to get ripped apart. <laughs> Like, they are now about to go get ripped apart by me. Again. Which is... I don't know. Just kind of a pastime I guess Canada does again. I've, I've said this before, I think, some at some other time. But a pastime in China, in Canada is just... We just go rip up and destroy the... The, uh... The, uh... Chinese, yeah. And Gun's Eye seems to be doing quite well. Have they added their own war goal yet? I'm waiting for that to happen. Nope. They seem to be doing quite badly. I don't understand. Like... China doesn't seem to be winning at all, so I don't understand. I'm destroying the rest of the army, so yeah. I mean, yeah, most of the army is just de debunked. I mean, I'm they're they're trying to fight me. I can see that. I can see that on the faces. They are really trying, but they just don't have it. I have way. I have more of China than they do, and I think in the end, China has basically become the Canadian China. And we have won a no another Nobel Prize. It is the Nobel Prize in Medicine and Physiology. Yes! I feel so happy with that. And we got some low ethylene fire and support. That means every one of my units get an attack bonus. That is a great event. Of course not. Uh, we have a little bit of trouble over there. I'm going to go move my troops over there to make sure that they don't regain some of their old territory. You guys, you know, you guys don't need to do that. You guys can just move in. And we almost got this entire region almost under locks. And more another Nobel Prize. Wow, this is the Nobel. This is the year of Canada. The year of the Canada. Yes, we have more Nobel Prize people, and we are coming out with inventions here and th here, there, everywhere. This is just so great. Okay, you guys, you guys get, better get there before it conquers one of our lands. Before it conquers some of our land, which is gonna stink. There we go. Good. Okay, you guys move into the actual Beijing. And let's go destroy Beijing again. And. Down here we have the, uh, yeah, it seems like Gunzai is doing great, so why, okay, now the war is starting to turn against them, okay, I was waiting for this, I was kind of waiting for them to say that Gunzai is winning, which is what we wanted to happen, 
We did not want the uh, Chinese to win it all, because then it just means an end to our era. And we can go destroy these guys with this. We can go destroy these guys with this massive 38,000 troops. I mean, give them credit though. They're fighting an unwinnable odds, and give them credit. They did fight the best fight they could have. But I destroy them again. And that is probably the piece that they want. Hmm. Well, unlike the previous one, where I had to like get out quickly so that Gunzai would not be conquered, and I did not want Gunzai to be... Yes, they are adding another region. That is good. That means that... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Okay. I'm trying to think of this logically. So, I will take one region, Gunzai will take one region. They'll move up from being 5 to 6 again, which is going to stink, but that's easier to deal with. China went from 7 to 5. If I were to take one more region in this war, I would basically have, the next war we would go to war with China in, we would basically have China. Wow, that's kind of crazy to think about. So, you know what, no, I'm not going to end the war yet, because I bet that's, is that what you guys, are? no. I'm not going to end the war yet, because basically, we could just basically just go take over a lot of China in this war. And, I mean, next war that we go to war with China in, we could basically just take them over. And I just realized we should probably start building more transports because we have, like, none over here. So, we'll just stay at war with them for as long as we can. Which, as long as we can, translates to for a very long time. And I'm going to build a lot of transports here in the next couple seconds because I can. And we haven't really been working on our... I, uh, this is one thing I kind of regret. I forgot to work on my entire, like, naval combat. But it kind of became less and less important. It's after we like start taking over China so let's see Chinese army I'm gonna we basically have all this covered up so I'm gonna move both two armies down here I'll move another army down here just in case once the uh, Gunzaians finish up whipping up China I mean dang just like in a couple days we'll have the complete in like the next war we go to war with China we could basically get the Cosmos belly to establish a protectorate and take over China which is a crazy thing to think about but it's we're that close and as you can see, most of my men are done with what they need. It seems like America needs some military access. Sure, why not? Lazy Navy is going to adapt. Intervene immediately, as always. Okay, centralized planning economy. That should help us. And we have no factories being made. And no one's unemployed in our country. That is good signs of a good, strong, healthy economy. Except for the fact we have no factories being made. That's the only part that's really kind of stinking. So, where do we need to do? What do we need to build? This is building some closed factories um, over here. We could probably expand all these factories because they seem to be doing quite well for themselves. And I think it's also because of the fact that we have a lot, we have a lot of like people being immigrated. Like this is we have an established protectorate national craftsman thing, so they get a lot of the craftsman bonus. So I'm gonna extend all those factories over here. They haven't really maxed out yet, so I don't really want to extend them. But we need to make sure that we have. We need a luxurious clothes factory. Oh, I know what to build here. I know what to build here. A lumber factory! Yeah! Since we, I think we are the leading producers in lumber, that makes sense. And then, do they have a chair factory? Oh, over here, what we could do is build a chair factory. Um, chair factory. Or a paper mill could also be very spicy. Ah, just build a paper mill. Paper mill. And over here, we could build a chair factory and then build a luxurious chair factory. That way, we have a good economy going. Uh, where's chair factory? Chair factory, furniture factory, and then build a uh, luxurious factory. That way we have it all built up, and over here we can build a airplane factory. Because we want to make sure that we are technologically advanced for our neighbors. Actually, we can build a telephone and then an airplane factory. Okay, I maxed out more of this. Um, is this... No, are we get still going. I think we're not that late into this. We're not that late into this game. I was thinking about ending it, but it's not quite ready yet. And I'm just waiting for my infamy to drop. I wish I could figure out a way to make it drop really, really quick, but I don't... I don't think there is any other nation I can flee without making my Canada-China relationships really weird. Or making my borders really weird, so... Um, I don't want to do that. Definitely don't want to flee Quebec or Newfoundland or any of those kind of places. Those places are kind of mine. Yeah, China's just getting a butt whoop now. And Egyptian tomb discovered! We got more research and more prestige! I thought that event toy fired, but apparently it didn't. And that was actually an awesome event. And as you can see, Gunzai is just taking over all this. 
Well, actually, maybe I'll end the war once if Gunzai takes one more place. If Gunzai takes one more region, it'll make our life harder for when we have to go take over Gunzai. But it'll make our life easier in the fact that China will just be one more war. So if Gunzai could take one more region, then I'll stop the war with these guys. And we can actually start going in a little bit more in the industrial technology because we actually do have an industrial tech. And we actually have $13.93 million in the bank. That is amazing. I don't even think in my friends let's play I had that many. Um, I don't know why you need a military access because I've already defeated most of the actual troops. This is just like mop up. Uh, there was apparently a French war for the liberation of Alice Lorraine. Alice Lorraine. Um, of course the Germans. This actually could have been a great war if I think the Ottomans had stayed in the great power. And it's, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay, and this is just going to turn into a big gigantic war. I'm... I'm not, and if you guys are winning, if they do not add a war goal, I'm going to add the war goal of taking Formasa, which will be nice, and it's probably going to take me a very, very long time, let me see how long it's going to take, and I could probably start hunting down rebels again, because, I mean, there's really nothing else you guys have to do, I mean, really, nothing else you guys have to do, um, but, when will this take, like, how long are we, it would take, hmm, this is going to take a really long time. Like a really, 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 really long time game. Um, Alright, the only way... The only way this could work out, and I guess I am going to have to end the episode here, sorry guys, because it is running a little bit long, and I don't want to, like, make this extremely long to the point that no one's ever going to watch it. So, I'm going to end the episode here, but um, next episode, what I'm thinking is, maybe what I'll do is, I'll add the war goal of taking Formasa, and then if I can... Once I take it, I'm just going to instantly free it and make it Taiwan. Um, I'm going to see if I can do that. If I can't, I'll just come back to this because I, I I don't know. I don't know because it doesn't actually have any cores right there about you can make it. But, you know, you should be able to make Taiwan. Taiwan is definitely a different place than China. Well, it is. So, uh, we'll see about that. And, um, yeah, I'll see if I can do that or not. If not, then you guys will just see me come back here and... Basically, we'll just end the war right now and let guns I take as much as they want. Okay, so thank you guys for watching Don't forget to comment rate, and subscribe because you know you guys love me. And you love this series. So I think <laughs> yes uh, Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time